At Marriott headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland, researchers are working to replace hotel rooms that once looked like this to smart rooms that start off looking like this. With a few voice commands, blinds, lights, TV, the room springs to life. What we've collected, we start to understand their preferences. Adam Malamud is in charge of customer experience. Now, everything in this room is essentially wired. Then if you wanted to raise it, lower the shades. If I like an ice box of room to go to sleep and I'm not in the room, the room knows through its sensors that there's no one in here. Guests could go onto their personal profiles and add workout schedules, request weather updates, and even upload personal photos to have on display before they walk in the door. All that data, including your location and those voice commands, can be saved for future use. When you have these smart hotels, they have a token on your phone where they're knowing where you go. They know what type of coffee you order. They know what you order in the restaurant. Eric Cole is a cybersecurity expert and former security advisor to President Obama. The idea is now it can improve customer service. The problem is huge violation of personal privacy. Like Marriott, Hilton is also in on technical revolution. Both chains now offer perks like electronic keys, so guests can open hotel room doors and then we are. Wow. But it's a convenience Cole says needs to be used with caution. He says the Bluetooth signal sent from your smartphone might be unencrypted and could be hacked from up to 15 feet away. Somebody could go in and intercept your key. They could also track your locations. And if somebody can steal that digital signature, they can run up charges that you would have to pay for. And experts say you need to be careful about how much personal information you share while staying in hotels.